So I decided to go back to some older games to see if I could get into any lobbies and to get most of the awards and achievements done. And Battlefield 1943 was the first game on that list. I never really put too much time into this game. Since day one, it has always been a bit dated. Even in 2009 when it was released, it never compared to other shooter games, especially in terms of graphics from the same time period. That was a big reason why Battlefield was no match for Call of Duty back then. But in this game, if you got over 20 or more kills, you were doing something right. This game also only had four maps available with only three available for the main game mode. But for an arcade game overall, I thought it was an average game to go back and play every once in a while. And I always thought this game was far better than Bad Company 1. Compared to that game's multiplayer, 1943 was very underrated. Let's put it that way. But this is going to be my last hurrah for this game. I ended up getting all but three of the awards and all of the achievements completed. And there always seemed to be at least two or three lobbies going on Xbox during the daytime hours, which was good. This is still the only game that ever reminded me of the original Battlefield game, Battlefield 1942. So in that sense, this game still put a smile on my face every once in a while. Anyways, I would like to know your thoughts and expectations on Battlefield 2042, the new Battlefield game coming out in a few months. That's also a reason why I'm doing this video. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments section below, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye forever, Battlefield 1943. Enjoy the video.
for me. Please for takeoff.
of Wake Atoll are now the perfect base for U.S. Marines to continue advance towards the Japanese homeland.
shoot me. Fuck, man, these guys are off the blood. <laughs> Sniping big time. I'm gonna start targeting the guy that gets on the fucking flak gun every fucking time. It matters. You're done. Ho, ho, 